Okay, we're going to look at one more variation on this example that we've seen a couple of times now. We're going to look what's going on near x equals 1. We're going to look at left and right-handed limits. So first thing we're going to look at is the limit as x approaches 1 from the left. So if x is approaching 1 from the left, we're a little bit less than 1. If we look up here, less than 1 means that we replace f of x by x squared. And once we've put that, uh, put that expression in, it's a polynomial expression, we know what to do. We can do that by direct substitution. It's 1 squared, so we get 1. If x is approaching 1 from the right, well, if x is approaching 1 from the right, that means x is a bit bigger than 1, and so we need to use the expression 2 minus x. So we get 2 minus 1, which again is 1. Since the two one-sided limits agree, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x is equal to 1, right? Again, we can give a quick reason here. It's because the one-sided limits agree. Okay. Finally, if somebody asks for f of 1, well, we come up, we look for where do we have x really x equal to 1. We see the equals here, right? x bigger than or equal to 1. So if x is equal to 1, we use 2 minus 1. And we get 1, okay? So you'll notice that in this example, everything agrees, right? Limits of 1 all the way down. And you see this in the graph as when you, when you sketch the graph, you get this sort of unbroken curve, right? There, there's certainly a little corner there, right? We change direction at 1, but there's no break and there's no hole, right? Um, if we were just sketching the first half, we would have a hole there. But when we add the second piece, we fill in the hole and we continue down um, to x equals 2. So we actually get a, uh, a solid unbroken curve in this case. Um, we're going to see fairly soon that there is a name for this. This is exactly what it means for the function to be continuous. We would be able to say that this particular function is continuous on its domain. Right? And the only place that was ever in doubt is at x equals 1 because everywhere else we have polynomial expressions and we know that polynomial expressions can be evaluated by direct substitution, which is essentially the definition of continuity. Right? Um, continuity tends to get interesting when you're dealing with things like piecewise defined functions where you actually have several things to check before you can convince yourself a function is continuous. You've got to check the left-hand limit, check the right-hand limit, make sure they're equal, calculate the value of the function, if that is also equal to the value of the limit, then you have a continuous function. Um, we'll be seeing more of that very soon, but first we're going to do a couple more examples with one-sided limits.